Is it really possible for a tiny tweak to your morning coffee routine to ignite your metabolism and put your body into full fat burning mode for the rest of the day? Check out the link in the video description now and transform your morning coffee into a metabolism boosting super drink. Kim Kardashian's simmering anger toward her sister Khloe Kardashian was turned up a notch on the latest episode of The Kardashians. The 43-year-old reality star couldn't hold back her snide comments about the absent Khloe, 39, after she opted to skip in an all-star Balenciaga fashion show happening on the streets of Beverly Hills. However, Khloe was revealed to be skipping the show due to what Kim thought was worsening agoraphobia, rather than recent scandals that had dogged the fashion house. In late 2022, Balenciaga came under fire for a risque campaign in which children posed with teddy bears that were dressed in leather BDSM gear. Although the photos were didn't feature any explicitly sexual images, some critics founded the outfits the teddy bears wore to be offensively sexualized, and the most vociferous critics accused Balenciaga and its creative director's Demna of pedophilia. Then the luxury brand was swept up in a second overlapping wave of controversy due to another unrelated ad campaign for its collaboration with Adidas. The accessories were photographed atop a pile of legal documents, which eagle-eyed social media users realized were filings from the Supreme Court case United States v. Williams. The case upheld the Protect Act, which involved penalties for child pornography. The controversies were widely discussed in right-wing and conspiracy theorist circles, and both Balenciaga and Demna apologized for the campaigns. The fashion house even launched a $25 million lawsuit against the set designer of the campaign with the court documents, though her attorney claimed she was being scapegoated by Balenciaga, as the papers had been supplied to her by the prop department. At the time, Kim said she was reassessing her relationship with Balenciaga, though she eventually decided to continue the association, which has only strengthened since then. At the show, Kim was joined by her model sister Kendall Jenner, and the two walked along a closed-down street while navigating through crowds of models and crew preparing the show. Every Balenciaga show is such a moment, so it's really fun to see it all come to life, Kim gushed later in her confessional interview. She noted that Chloe didn't join them despite being invited, and she added with some venom in her voice that her younger sister didn't come because the fashion show was outdoors and in the daylight. Kim then explained that she thinks Chloe may be suffering from agoraphobia though it's not clear if she thought it might be a clinical case, or just that her sister is turning into a homebody. I get it, but it's time to break out of it, she added with audible annoyance. Kim noted that she is officially a brand ambassador for Balenciaga, even though people had assumed she was long before that after she began wearing numerous outfits from the Spanish fashion house. Kim's ex-husband Kanye West had previously collaborated with Balenciaga but the luxury fashion line severed their ties in 2022 in the wake of anti-Semitic comments the rapper made. Kim also noted that she was getting ready to pitch a new comedy film, which she will presumably star in, so she was branching out and even busier than usual. While she was at the fashion show, it cuts away to reveal other stars walking with the models, including Bridget Nielsen and Cardi B. Then the action cut to Chloe ahead of a brief exit from her mansion, proving that she does leave her home sometimes, although this trip was again focused on her children. Breaking news, guys. I am leaving Hidden Hills, she gushed, but she wasn't willing to go any farther from home, with her excuse being that Courtney might go into labor at any moment, even though she apparently wasn't invited to the birth. The Revenge Body star was taking a trip to see some baby goats at a petting zoo with her BFF Malika Hack, who joined her in the passenger seat of her Rolls Royce. The two got to talking about Malika recent dating attempts, after she paused her plans to use a sperm bank to help her have a child. I am not open for business, you are. Chloe said, as she emphasized that she wanted to be single for a while. But she was happy for her friend and approved of her trying to find a real partner before resulting to an anonymous sperm donor. While they talked about a date that didn't end well with an insistent suitor who wouldn't stop texting Malika, Chloe admit.